everybody, Dom likes to eat here and I know you're kind of wondering where the hell has she been? I'm here, don't worry. You might notice a new background. I am in a new space. Um, so I've been kind of adjusting to that, but this is our first video of the new year. Happy new year. Today we're gonna be making Annie Ann's inspired pretzels, but vegan. Now the pretzels at Annie Ann's, fun fact, are vegan, um, the salted and the cinnamon sugar ones. But you know, we're in a pandemic. A lot of people aren't eating out right now, so why not just make it at your home? What have I been up to? Well, I did come out with a new cookbook and I would like to thank everyone that has gotten a copy of their cookbook. This is my own personal copy. That's why it's not for resale. Um, it is Vegan Hippie Soul, a very merry vegan holiday. Such a tongue twister. And I love this book. It has 20 plus recipes, and just to give y'all a little sneak peek, it has things like apple pie, oatmeal cream pies, mac and cheese, cauliflower steaks, chicken nuggets, you name it, it is in here. So I'm gonna put this in the bio. The ebook is still available and the um, paperback is still available as well. And then you know we have my baby, my OG. This is Vegan Hippie Soul, um, delicious recipes for the plant-based soul. This is my first cookbook I came out with. We're actually coming up on almost a year. Um, April 3rd will make a year of this book being out. And this is still available on my website too if you're looking for more yummy vegan recipes. So let's jump right in to this Vegan Annie Ann's Pretzels. Um, I'm not gonna give you the exact measurements, but the full recipe can be found on my site. I'll put it here and Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm excited about this new year. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and if you're watching this and you're on Instagram, because I will upload this to my Instagram TV, follow me, share, I'm excited. All right, let's get into the video. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of warm water with some sugar. I used about a tablespoon in a yeast packet. You're gonna wanna set that to the side to activate for about 10 minutes. And while it's activating, you can prepare your flour and all of your other dry ingredients. So go ahead and add your salt. And then after the salt, you wanna go ahead and add some vegan butter, melt it. I believe I used about three tablespoons of vegan butter. Slowly add in your flour. I use anywhere from, you can use anywhere from three to four cups of flour and just slowly add it in um, one cup at a time and mix, mix, mix until you can kind of form a cohesive ball. It's okay if it's a little sticky. Um, you can always add more flour, but the more you knead it, the less stickier it will be. Um, if you do have a kitchen aid, you can do this in the kitchen aid. I've been meaning to get one because I feel like it makes your life a lot easier. But if not, we can go the old fashioned way like I did and just continue to knead. Place some flour down, place the dough down and knead for I would say about 10 minutes. You don't want to over knead this dough or under knead it. And if you need help, just you know, look at some YouTube videos on how, how do you know when dough is ready. After kneading, you want your dough to look like this, and you're gonna place it in a well-oiled bowl. If you have a glass bowl, I prefer you use that, and you're gonna cover it and place it in a warm place for 30 minutes to an hour. Preheat your oven to 450, and once it has doubled in size, an hour later, it should look like this. All right, so you're gonna take a thick piece of dough similar to the size that I have, and you're gonna use the palm of your hands to roll it out. It's very important that you um, roll it out to where it's pretty long, because you are going to make your pretzel by doing this technique. So you're gonna make it into a U-shaped form. Hopefully you guys can see it clearly because I really, really tried to get a good camera angle here. But you're gonna roll it into a U-shaped form. There we go. And then you are going to cross each piece over each other and then cross again and bring it down. Now we're gonna get ready for our baking soda bath. You're gonna take your baking soda and place it in hot water and bring that to a boil. You're then going to place, carefully place the pretzel 
into this um, solution and you're gonna cook it for 20 seconds. Do not go any longer than 20 seconds. Um, that is all you need. And it's a little difficult to take it out. So, I mean, if you just try to get it out of there as best as you can. And you're gonna place it on some parchment paper and you're gonna brush it with butter and place it in the oven to bake on 450 for 12 to 15 minutes. Your pretzel should look like this fresh out the oven. I'm going to take mine and place it in some vegan butter and then place it in my cinnamon sugar solution, which is just cinnamon sugar. And I threw some nutmeg in there for an extra little spice and it should look like this when it's done. Enjoy. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.